G'day people and welcome back to my flash print tutorial series which this is uh, part 5 section 2 where we're looking into slicing basically so the previous video was on basic mode and also the print section which I don't know what they actually call it I'm going to call it the printer tab up the top here so we've got a few different tabs on the left hand side this video we will just be looking at in general so we're going to keep this nice and short and go through things individually let me pull up my notes so i can also keep my head on straight so without any more mucking around let's get right into it so in general tab in the expert mode we start off with layer height at the absolute top so the first selection that we have is layer height mode it is a choice between a fixed layer height or variable layer height and selecting a variable layer height will actually add a control list down the bottom here that was not previously present um, before we get onto that we'll go into just layer height you can manually change your layer height so hypothetically if your printer does not have uh, those print profiles that I mentioned in the previous video so standard fine and fast so like my creator pro 3 it only has standard I can still come in and manually edit it to make it a fine profile well, I don't know why he went there. Anyway, 0.212, I should say. 0.12 was the same as the fine. And, yeah, you can just do that. You also get this little return key to return it to stock or factory settings. You can also do the same on your first layer height. So some materials like to be squished more than others. Uh, PETG likes to be sort of dropped down on the bed for the most part, so making that a little bit bigger. Uh, if you're having some... Uh, some first layer issues might also help or vice versa it just depends on what your issues are but it is all adjustable as required the next part is the variable layer height so if you remember the control list from my previous video on temperatures it's reasonably similar to that where we can select a layer in that it doesn't look like it actually has a um, it's not over a span of layers, it's a layer, so we can go at layer 123, because the keys are right next to each other, we can run that at 50% for whatever reason. And it is a percentage, and it's a percentage of that figure, not that figure. So, if you're not too sure what it is, you're going to have to get out the calculator and start doing some division to sort of work out where you want your layer to be. And same as before, clicking on the box and hitting the delete icon if you do not want it. And so that is our layer heights. Not a huge amount of options here, so it's pretty straightforward. The next section is speed, which sort of makes sense. It'll speed up your prints or slow them down. So the base print speed is sort of like the master control, which affects... Well, it says it affects everything else, but everything else is adjustable anyway, so whatever. So that's 60 millimeters a second in standard. Uh, speed it up, and obviously it'll be faster, but it can sometimes uh, cause some accuracy issues. Not all the time, just sometimes. And slowing it down will actually also, you know, help prevent vibrations and help with finer details. The travel speed is the speed in which the extruder moves when it's not actually punching out filament. So a faster speed here will mean that it moves around the print bed a lot quicker and speeds up the print time. However, it also vibrates things a lot more because it's you know, shooting up to a high speed as it moves around. The minimum speed is how fast the extruder will move while it is actually extruding material so it'll not go beneath five millimeters a second so although that is 60 millimeters that is the top speed that is the bottom speed it'll never go below that so if you wanted to speed up your prints uh significantly these two together work together underneath that we've got first layer maximum speed which is uh so your first layer is always going to be slower um, and this is just to help lay that filament down where you can make your first layer a faster first layer or you can slow it right down and again that helps with adhesion the travel speed is also slightly reduced so from point to point to sort of prevent uh, if it's too quick these sort of settings what can actually happen is it can actually rip the first layer up off the bed if the adhesions uh, not perfect and if you're not paying attention to your prints 
Um, you come back to a plate of spaghetti, basically, so um, you can fiddle around with these to achieve whatever whatever result you personally need. Um, look, I've been using sort of like stock settings for the most part, and that's been pretty good for me, so I've been, I've been very lucky. The other thing you can do to help with adhesion and your model starting off is you can actually slow down the first few layers. So this will affect from layer 2 to, um, to wherever you set it. So, so this will affect from layer 2 to layer 9. I believe that's what that's what it says. I haven't had to use it, so here we go. If the speed, if you set the you know, if you set the layer option to three layers, so it's the amount of layers, um, layer two to layer four. So I hope that makes sense. So it's this will start at layer two and only do layer two. This will start at layer two and do layer two and three. But anyway, that's what it does. It'll help um, help with uh, you know, the initial part of the of the uh, of the print process being nice and nice and sturdy and underneath that is your speed reduction so it'll only do half of our base pr speed and you can adjust it as needed you might want your first couple of layers to be no faster than your actual first layer speed in which case you'd enter in your 10 millimeters per second here and that is our speed sections the next bit is retraction so retraction can help with stringing and mess and blobs and all sorts of things so the main things we've got going on here is retraction speed length and retraction speed uh, extrude speed and extra restart length are actually something that flash print doesn't actually have a tool tip for and i haven't touched so i'm not super sure on the exact um the exact function of them i can sort of gather that this is uh opposite to retract speed so this is how fast the filament is pushed back in and this just gives you a little bit extra filament when you're starting again um for whatever reason, not 100% sure. Uh, so the two settings that I will look at um, will be retraction length. So this is how much filament is pulled back up in uh, into the nozzle, basically. While the uh, you know this is for when the extruder is in between extrusions. So you know before travelling or starting a new layer, the it'll retract the filament, and the, underneath that is your speed. So this is how fast it'll pull it back into the. Uh, into the into the nozzle. So these these two settings will actually all these settings will actually control the um, the extruder drive motor. And that is the general settings. The next section we will look into shells. So I hope you'll join me for that. Thanks for watching.